Jungkook says you should have sat there and ate your food. Jenny's making her mark at Calvin Klein. g Easy teaches his favorite Bay Area slang. You can grab cheap concert tickets to see your faves. And we catch up with Ava Luna before Billboard's Latin Women in Music. I'm Cetris Kelly and this is Billboard News. It's Thursday, May 4th, and you better cancel that Uber Eats order if it's heading to Jungkook's, or else. Fans are sending food to BTS's Jungkook's home, but he's not having it. And Jimin reaches new heights with Light Crazy. So here's the thing, we all love our guys of BTS, but some fans may have taken it a step too far. After receiving food delivered to his home, JK took to Weverse and posted, Don't send home delivery food, I won't eat it, even if you give it to me. I'm thankful, but I eat well. You can buy it yourself, I beg you. If you send it one more time, I will check the receipt order number you sent and take action, so stop it. This caused Leave Jungkook Alone to trend on Twitter. Also trending on Twitter, congratulations, Jimin. The English version of his Hot 100 hit, Like Crazy, has passed 100 million plays on Spotify, becoming the third track from his album Face to do so, a first for a Korean solo. From food to fashion, Jenny just rocked the Met Gala steps, but now she's stripping down to her essentials for Calvin Klein. Jenny from Blackpink teases her capsule collection, with Calvin Klein bringing her personal touch to each piece. Starting May 10th, you'll be able to get your hands on Jenny's new pieces for Calvin Klein. The Calvin Klein global brand ambassador is taking cues from her casual wardrobe essentials, personal style, and creative eye, creating a collection of both underwear and outerwear. She told Billboard, This collection reflects my everyday style and is based on many of the Calvin Klein essentials that have become staples in my wardrobe. My aspiration for this collection is that everyone will feel as happy and confident in these pieces as I do. Now let's take it to the Bay. g Easy stopped by to tell us his favorite slang and it's beyond educational. Yo, what's up? This is g Easy, And so my favorite Bay Area slang would be, well, of course, yada that me. Um, that's, that's, that's very from the Bay Area. That just means, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You got it, I mean? You got it, I mean? Uh, the next one I say is ye. You know, when you, when you hear somebody in the Bay say ye, that's like, that's like a call. Like if you see somebody you know across the street, you're like ye, ye. You know, or if you see somebody that's from the Bay, like somewhere that's not the Bay, like anytime I see somebody like with an A's hat on walking down the street in New York, I'm like ye. And they're like, oh, hey, what's up, Cuddy? Ye, ye. It's kind of like one of those. Um, and then I would just say um, the town. The town is Oakland and the city is San Francisco. You know, so somebody say like, oh, you from the town, man? You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you from the city? So that's the difference. There's the town and the city. Who doesn't love a concert? I've seen Taylor Swift twice so far this year, but there are so many other amazing artists on the road for you to see. If you didn't get tickets for Taylor, Beyonce, or Ed Sheeran, you're in luck because you don't have to pay thousands to see some amazing artists. Now my first name ain't baby, it's Janet, Miss Jackson if you're next Janet Jackson is just one of the epic performers you can see for just $25. Live Nation announced they're bringing back Concert Week, and you can grab cheaper tickets, fees included, for over 300 acts. Man, I feel like a woman. Shania Twain, Maroon 5, Miranda Lambert, Snoop Dogg, and Wiz Khalifa are just some of the names you'll see on this list of shows you can snatch tickets up for when they go on sale May 10th to the 16th. For a full list of participating events and details on how you can get your $25 tickets, head to Billboard.com. Before we head out, we talk to one of Billboard's Latin women in music honorees, Ava Luna. She'll take home the Tradition and Future Award this weekend when the ceremony takes place in Miami. One of the first memories could be when I was the model of the video of my dad when I was like four years old. And it was like, wow, I'm also part of this too. And I felt like I was super special, super pro, in front of the camera at four years old. So much happiness, I'm afraid. Camilo escribe canciones conmigo. Yo siento que él me empodera un montón para poder comunicar lo que estoy sintiendo. Saca lo mejor de ti. Exacto. Yo soy tu taxista y tú de, tú de aquí ya no te mueves. Y a mí 
ya mire en el cel el huele. ¿Cómo es distinta tu música tú a la música que haces con él? Siento que la música que hago para mí siempre le hemos dado un rumbo más espiritual. Siento que mi foco siempre ha sido como querer comunicar un poquito más de mi relación con Dios. Y en las canciones de Cami se habla mucho del amor, que pues al final es lo mismo, pero nada, siento que, que quizás eso es lo que nos diferencia un poquito. Pero al, al final, como lo estamos haciendo juntos, es como que estamos... Todo, todo, los, sino todos un poquito. For the full interview, head to billboard.com. As always, thanks for watching and make sure you come back tomorrow for our Friday Music Guide and we break down what to expect at Billboard's Latin Women in Music. May the fourth be with you. I'm Tetris Kelly and this is Billboard News.